We're gonna take $25 and we're gonna pick out a bunch of different bass lures. Power worm, $5 for this chatter. $5 topwater black popping lure. <laughs> what is up, I'm Matt. We're so excited for the fishing adventure today. Today we are going to do something we haven't done in a long time, and that is a little bit of a budget fishing challenge. The point is to show you guys you don't need to go spend a million dollars on freaking bass tackle to go out and just catch some fish. So with that in mind, we're going to head out to the local Walmart. We're gonna take $25-ish. We're gonna spend about 25 bucks, and we're gonna pick out a bunch of different bass lures. I'm gonna tell you guys why I picked them out, and then hopefully go to the lake and catch some fish on those exact lures. I'll teach you a little bit how to go catch them there as well. Also, MF for the day, right down there below. If you guys wanna be MF for the day, I have your comment featured just like that one right there. All you gotta do is be a subscriber, hit the notification bell, and of course, drop a comment on every single video. We'll pick it out, put your name right down there below. Step number one is already complete. I don't know if you guys can see back there, the boat is hooked up right back behind us. Step number two though, let's head to the local Walmart and see if they have any fishing tackle left. Well, nice knowing you boat. Everything will probably be stolen when I get back. All right, see ya. All right, heading back to the fishing section now. Honestly, this probably will be my toughest Walmart challenge considering with this COVID stuff, all you guys in the world, I think have been out fishing and everything's just completely picked over. So let's see what they got left. Terminal tackle, probably not gonna happen, but uh, looks like we got some restocked baits and stuff here. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of an assortment, even though we're only spending about $20 here. Um, I'm gonna get a couple different things we can probably catch fish on in a wide variety of different situations. Oh man. Oh, these are even my guys right here. That's a badass color. Power worm. It's only a seven inch. I kind of wish there was a 10 inch, but power worms would be perfect. We can fish them on grass lines. We can fish them offshore. If we got some offshore stuff, this is a good bait right here. You know, I'm also thinking like, you know, spinner bait, chatter bait, something like that. It's really windy outside. I throw a chatter bait quite a bit. Ooh, quarter ounce. Oh, this is a three eighth ounce. That's not too bad. I kind of wish there was a half ounce though. It's like no dice on the half ounce. So we got $5 for this chatter bait. Doesn't look like that bad a one either had better it's definitely not a jackhammer but chatterbait boom we're definitely gonna need a trailer for the chatterbait looks like they got got some grubs oh there we go we got some rage swimmers Ooh, green pumpkin Dude. 350 little green pumpkin rage swimmer guy i don't know i've never used these before little kitech knockoff definitely like the exact same as the kitech but that's what they got here pretty solid war eagle selection actually i think i think we probably want some spinner baits next so i'm gonna grab a little war eagle because those are you know the best spinner baits there are I'm not sure what the water quality is going to be but three eighth ounce white chartreuse that'll get it done oh hell yeah right behind there actually we got this guy this is one of my favorite colors of all time mouse that's a good bait 524 that's actually really good for a war eagle that's a good price now, of course you guys know i couldn't go through this challenge without getting a top water bait and i know it's probably really grassy at this lake i'm going to i haven't been there yet this year i don't think i decided to get a poppin pad crusher too a five dollar top water black poppin lure i better get out of here before i spend my money You look at that, even with the energy drink, we got out of there for $27. Not too bad. So we're right around $25 with our tackle. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it is crazy windy today. So I'm glad I got a couple of good baits and uh, we're just gonna rig it up, head to the lake. Boat is launched, baits are tied on. I'm ready to rip some freaking lips. Man, I'm glad I got some moving baits because it is windy out here. Windy, sunny, middle of the day. Hopefully we'll be able to catch something. Really quick before we start the fishing portion of this video, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by Waterland Fishing Optics. That's what I wear in all my videos. You guys have been asking me that all the time. Let me be real with you guys. My good buddy Casey and I that own Six Sets, um, we were sick and tired of going out and spending $260 on a pair of sunglasses that would fall apart uh, and just you'd lose them, break them, whatever. So we decided we're just going to start our own fishing sunglasses company called Waterland. We launched about a month ago and we've already had hundreds and maybe even thousands of orders by now. People are blowing these things up, saying how much they freaking love them. Everyone's saying they're the best glasses they've ever owned. So I, I greatly appreciate that from you guys. You can check them out at waterlandco.com. I'll link it right down below. These are gonna be a $150 pair of glasses, but we launched them at 20% off for the company. And then you can also use the promo code MF10. that will save you another 10%. You can get them for about $100 right now. If you're in the market for a pair of good sunglasses to go fish with, or if you have anyone in your family that likes to go fishing, these are the ones you want to pick up. I'll link it below again. And uh, yeah, let's go catch them. All right, guys, let's freaking get this show on the road. Now, I did something a lot of you guys might not understand, but since we have 
bluebird skies and not any clouds or anything going on no rain no fronts coming inside or anything like that we are going to start on the windiest point on the entire lake if you guys are out in the middle of the day on a day like this where it's super high skies trust me you want everything in the favor as possible i'm gonna get started with the damn moving bait let's start with this chatter bait i'm actually gonna put one of these little swimmer guys on the back of it three and a quarter inch should pit fit this guy about perfect now i'm not sure how good this keeper is right there it doesn't look like much so we might be ended up using some super glue but i'm just going to take this guy tail end up right way thread him on there looks like he's about lined up and yeah perfect you want to make sure that tail clears the edge of those uh that silicone skirt or else you're gonna have some issues we're also gonna do something else water looks like it's chalked up a little bit over here with the wind blowing on it i'm sure and just because there's a lot of algae and stuff in the water this time of year we are going to do a little tail dip of the chartreuse, especially because this is a bluegill forage lake. They all have that chartreuse light blue hue to their tails. Boom, let's see if we can catch them. There we go, way up there in the freaking grass. Little chatterbait guy, you bet. Not a gigantor, but hey, we went out, we got some cheap baits of wall heads, and we uh, freaking caught a fish on them. All right. Now, reason I like the chatter bait right here, I picked that up instead of the spinner bait. I didn't really talk about that, but as you guys can see, a lot of grass around here. And this chatter bait comes through grass much, much better than the spinner bait, especially when you're doing what I usually do in the spring, which is get it bogged down a little bit and then just give a little pop out of there. That's actually what that one did right there. I turned my reel handle, I felt it break free from that grass. And that's how you get a reaction bite. It might look stupid, but it's crazy. Sometimes you get it bogged down in grass, which by the way, we got a lot of this grass down there, which is stringy, nothing crap. And then some milfoil mixed in. That's pretty good stuff. But uh, it might look a little ridiculous when you're ripping it super, super hard, but some of your biggest bites can come when you rip that chatterbait out of that grass as hard as you can. And they freaking whap! They're sitting right there and they just react. They, probably not really in a feeding mood but that's a good way to uh catch some of these fish that might not be that active or in the summertime like this you're on a, a windy grass line water stirred up a little bit a little too stained for swim jigging a lot of situations chatterbait is awesome to be honest bite has not been as good as i thought it would be on the grass lines with that chatterbait and the spinnerbait so i'm gonna go ahead and put on uh, one of these magic worms i got so I'll just show you guys how i'm gonna rig this up we're gonna go texas rig and yes i did cheat and not get terminal tackle and include that for this challenge because well, I didn't think Walmart would have any terminal tackle. So three eighth ounce tungsten weight. This is a five odd hook. Four odds probably better, but five odds what I had tied on. That's how I like to Texas rig it. So I, I pull it through, make sure it's perfectly straight. And then we're gonna take our tip, pull it up and, and kind of bury it in there. Cause there's a lot of grass out here. That's called tech exposing for those of you that uh, are not familiar with it, but that's a great way to fish it. I always unpeg it. Um, unless I'm like trying to skip docks, this bait is not a skipping bait for me anyway, the seven inch worm, but let's fish some more of this kind of offshore type grass line type stuff see if it's more of a bottom bite today since we only had one that wanted to come up for that chatterbait oh there's one bluegill bass and it kind of feels like a bluegill but look at my rod tip just jiggling usually that means it's bluegill dang it i was hoping there'd be some big bass loaded up on this offshore stuff that was definitely bluegill pecs There we go. There's an offshore fish on the worm. Oh God, is this big? This might be a daggum slaunch, guys. Holy crap, this thing is fighting. This lake isn't known for big, so. Oh yeah, that's a big. On our little worm guy. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Woo -hoo -hoo. You bet. That's a daggum slouchy four pounder on the old worm. My worm's in there somewhere, guys. That's a thick guy. Now we catch a lot of big fish, but uh, this is kind of a special one. There isn't very many of those in this lake, so get her back as quick as possible. Boom! Offshore might be the deal today. Got ourselves a little baby magic worm and they love it. Another one, another one. Oh yeah, he's not as big, but we'll take him for the little challenge today, you bet. This spot is freaking loaded. Little rock pile out there. And they are chewing the damn worm. Little guy. Let's get a nather. 
this deep spot's actually a rock pile. It doesn't have any grass on it, just kind of next to it. So I really wish I would have picked up a deep crankbait, but I don't think Walmart even has anything for deep crankbaits. Otherwise, that would be ideal to throw in here. Well, it could be something where we slow roll a spinnerbait over it after this worm bite maybe dies down, but I'm really wishing I had like a six cent C10 or something right now. Well, deep bite kind of dried up a little bit. So we're gonna go up shallow, do a little bit of flipping and some frogging up in this creek. I think, you know, it's super windy out here, but we get far enough up this creek We'll be able to let them see that frog and, I don't know, hopefully get a couple on it. Hasn't been the best day fishing, but hey, we got a big one. Kind of curious to see if there's a little bit better flipping bite in this timber. Damn it. There we go. Flipping fish on the worm. Now this makes me happy. Usually I use this seven inch worm for flipping just a little guy just a second ago we we're out there dragging a rock pile that's a 10 inch worm thing for me always i always drag a 10 inch worm but when i'm flipping something vertically horizontally when i'm dragging i want the 10 inch when i'm flipping vertically i want the 7 inch because the way this sea tail acts in the water it just kind of has a really tight i don't know almost kicking motion that i think a lot of fish a lot of bluegill bait fish stuff that are falling coming down has and so i think it, in in my mind it works a lot better vertically when you're flipping it over a tree limb or straight down against a piece of timber like this guy right here that's not to say you can't catch them dragging with the seven inch but i greatly prefer the 10 inch for dragging and the seven inch for flipping and kind of dragging over lay downs and stuff like this okay this looks a little froggy a little too froggy to not froggy it all right mr poppin pad crasher most definitely not my favorite popping frog but it should be able to get a bite at least today right got thick duckweed over the top of some milfoil we got some freaking slop on top of it and we got a fish on the first cast look at that just had to talk some trash to him tell you guys what was going on and boom i'd say that guy wanted it yep he got it hell yeah oh by the way this isn't like a private stalker pond like a lot of you guys are probably commenting right now this is a uh, very very public heavily fished lake this is awesome too i will uh, i'll take that first cast the frog Yes, that one was deep in that slop. First one was on the grass edge. This guy was buried in there. The frog hit the water. He skadooshed it. <laughs> More grass than fish, but hey, don't care if he's small. Frog bites are frog bites, and they're all fun. Now I just got to clean this 36 pounds of grass out the boat. Man, sounds like a problem for future Ben. Hell yes. You guys probably won't be able to hear this, but this entire grass mat right here is loaded with life. You can hear bluegill popping, there's freaking dragonflies everywhere. So naturally, gotta get in there. I've been just picking it apart. I actually had that fish bite a ways back there and it looks like I might've blow out my frog completely. Let's see if we can fix him quick. Oh yeah, we're good. But I had one eat my frog back there and miss it. And so I switched angles. That's something you can always take from that is to if you miss a fish, change your angle up a lot of times. Cause I threw back to that fish three times from the same angle, nada. Hey, we're catching some fish, this is awesome. Well, that turned out to be a pretty badass couple hours on the water today. We caught fish on all but one of the baits that we just went out and freaking picked up from Walmart for $25 or less. A little bit of bad news, good news. Bad news is we gotta get out of here, but the good news is it's because I have something very, very exciting to share with you guys. So I'll catch you guys at home. I want to bring it back to back here to the house because I got this giant box of stuff from Six Sense with some new colors that I want to show you guys. And it's now it's gone. The myth, the legend, my new package. What do we got here? Those are for Cole, uh -huh. not you. What are they're schmediums? <laughs> they're for Cole. They're schmedium shorts. Six Sense fishing shorts. We got all kinds of stuff, people. We got a big tournament weekend. We're gonna ready to shake and bake. So you guys can tell the, uh, the Zark has arrived here. We have two tournaments this weekend. Zark just went and pre-fished. I don't know if you can see that. Because Big red. She's a little uh, battle tested. She is approved. battle tested. Zark pre-fished, brought his whole rig to the house. We're gonna load my rig up, which is over there. Now you can see it, the, the lighting's a little terrible here. But like I said, we gotta show you guys some of the, 
little six cents stuff there in that box. I just got some brand new colors. Yes. Yeah, so plan is we're fishing a no wake lake for the tournament tomorrow. So we're going to put all the tackle and fish out of my boat. And then we're going to tow Zark's boat <laughs> with tackle in it back behind us. So whenever we need anything, Beauty. hop back there and shake and bake. All right, let's actually show people what we got here. Are you going to do the unboxing? Jim? I will. Let's do it. All right. I got to sit down though, because we've been fishing in a mold. You are old. Ship. And that's full. Is that full of uh, frosty beverages? That's full of uh, not frosty beverages. Okay. Medium shorts for Colton. Colton. Slaw. Colton, Col Colton hates when we call him Colton. So these are boring. Just a little stick. My worms. new go-to stick worm. Is it? Oh yeah. This green pumpkin burst. On the wing ding, is that what you're yeah, throwing? No. Dude, that's what I've been, I switched over from that Bass Pro yeah. worm we used to use to that. Yeah. It catches them. It does. Green pumpkin burst, got five of those, five black and blue flake, five watermelon candy. But we got a bunch of crankbaits. Um, we have some new colors crankbaits that just came out. This is the Magnum square bill. Dude, I don't have Have any. you seen these? No, I haven't. Oh yeah, I got some. Get, I see this new one. color? I have not. Tilapia. I, I have. There are a lot of tilapia in Nebraska. Tons here. of tilapia <laughs> everywhere you go. No, it's there. There is no tilapia around here, but it looks just color. like a perch. Yep. Exactly like a perch. Perch, bluegill, whatever. It's gonna be a good little imitationer. But that's the uh, the Magnum square bill. Do you like when I say Magnum? I do. Magnum. No. Have Have you seen that color of prawn? I have not. Bluegrass magic prawn. What'd you do? <laughs> Cops are here. You heard I was in Omaha. It's Color. green pumpkin with blue flake, and then the back of it's like a blue shimmer. It's like an Okeechobee craw type color. Yeah. I caught a five pounder flipping docks with it the other day, so I had to have five packs of Deal. it. Deal. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some deep cranking, I think, in the tournament tomorrow. Um, this is a guy that's a brand new color of C15. I got a bunch of deep cranks. I already had a bunch of C10s, now I got some more C15s, but this is one of the new colors. I'll take it out and show it to you. The tilapia was a new color. This is 4K Gizzard, which is a type of color that I like a lot where you have a bright color mixed with a natural color. You got yeah. the naturalism of like the pink back and then you got the bright white and the bright scales on there. That guy will get bit. Good Tennessee River color, I'm sure too. That one there is Slob. Sob's Slob. juice, Slob. Ca Casey's Slob color juice. that he designed. That's like a sexy shad with more than scales. I've been, scales. I've been catching them at rap. On that one? Let me show the, it's the, the five other, people uh, Dude, it's, it's going to take us seven hours to load tackle in the boat, but there's the Sob's juice if you haven't seen it. Again. A couple of cases of those because we're basically going to get snagged every other cast tomorrow, Shad I would assume. Shad Sense. Um, that's just color. a natural. Probably a good color after we fish some of these spots a few times to go back through with the shad sense. It's like a natural see-through sexy shad type color. I don't know if you guys can see any of that or if it's like terrible reflection off the lens probably. Um, got some deep jigs. Those looked good. It's a lot of muddy stained water at the lake we're going to. Look at all the people stickers. struggling to get around your truck because it's parked so far. I know. Right? Hopefully they hit it. Yeah. Not. You're sponsored by the insurance company. So. Hey, they just come through today, actually. Did they? Yeah, got a new lower unit coming. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Dark's a little hard on stuff, so he's sponsored by the insurance company, as he says. Or those guys. Dude, I gotta have like. I'll just take these. You'll take those. Dude, I could catch them on these. I got, I got some spots. That is the I mini deep, mag I spring run. I color. Remember. They run like a little six deeper. feet. Yeah. They run a little deep. Five to it. seven, I'd that say. That big body depending on your... seems like it works it down. Yeah, it runs really good through rock and uh, laydowns and stuff like that. Stumps. More clouts, green pumpkin burst. Here's another new color. This is a cool one. It's called Mudgill. Good muddy water gillian mm. color. Chartreuse bluegill. We're also sweating, or at least I'm sweating sitting here. It's like 94 and humid with no air movement. So mm. sorry about that. I'm out of shape and fat. Get over it. Oh. Did you just look at my chub? Yes. I got excited about this. People bait. talk about me up. losing weight on there all the time. You gave it did. to me. I did. I lost 30 pounds. Was that Atkins? No, that was, uh, <laughs> we don't want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Not meth, like you guys probably think. <laughs> Joe's from Iowa, but. <laughs> uh, more hybrid jig, Spanish Jews is that one. J-E-W-S. Uh, well, dude, what did you do from... to your shorts? <laughs> uh, we had a little. <laughs> 
a little dye. You got a dip and dye in Dip and dye and it was all down my leg a Beauty. little bit. Happens to the best of us. This is grass. Is that the, oh, grass mutant. That's the one I designed, actually. Did but you? you didn't know that. The mutant? It's a good color. The mutant. And then... We should I was change only, it to the Zark Mutant. Zark Mutant. Deal. There's only a few of these, apparently, that I could have, but C-15s in that new tilapia color, which is Bush League. Only had a hundred or some of them. They're probably sold out. More three-quarter ounce um, hybrid jigs, Blue Crush, and half ounce Blue Crush. Need to stock up on the jigs. I don't know if you guys could see that, but look at Zark's shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never, ever come out. Probably won't, actually. Got but yeah, some. we got a couple tournaments this weekend, so if you guys like tournament videos, be checking in for those probably two or three in a row coming up. Um, we need to get this stuff in the boat. We got a couple hours of tackle to do at the very least. I don't even know where I'm going to put this stuff, Zark, but I want it to be like, cast out, catch a fish, cast out, catch a fish, cast out, snag, break off, take one out of the boat, <laughs> cast out, snag, break off, cast out, catch a fish, snag, break off, and just keep tying them on without burning the fish. Red rips and lips this weekend. Yes, yes I am. This is my first uh, real world tournament since uh, it is. this year. So. Zark fished a bunch of the online tournaments we put on. One with me, you guys saw them there. So exciting, we can finally have real fishing tournaments again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, hopefully you learned a few things, and uh, hopefully you go check out some of the six cent stuff. Like I always tell you, promo code MF10 will save you a little bit of money on all of it, but catch you very soon. Out of here.